Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes. Ton of cheap building action. Look at that bad boy, I got that new wing on there. And guess what, they're both bolted on there. I can stay up to about 1.30 last night. And that thing bolted on there. But that's where she goes. Right there, there's my new wing. And looks good. I got all that cut out. Install my flaps. I want to get them done tonight. Also, I'm going to get my uh, uh, hatch molded. I'm going to get that done. Get on that tonight. While I'm waiting for resin to set up, I'm going to take this. I got to take this bulkhead out one more time. I forgot, you know, I got that piece of aluminum JB welded to that plywood. It's in there pretty good, but I forgot to put the bolts in from the back side. I got to pull that out, drill and tap them. And I just don't want to leave that just JB welded in there. I'm sure it'd probably be fine, especially with them wings bolting to that aluminum. I mean, it's not going anywhere, but I still want to bolt it onto that plywood. You know what I mean? So I'm going to pull that out one more time. And then uh, bolt the wings, bolt that aluminum to the bulkhead. Then I could put it back in there, bolt the wings back on. Then I could take my bead of glue and uh, glue her in there. And that's a half inch plywood, man. I'll glue that from both sides and get her in there. I mean, uh, guess what else? I put it on the scales this morning. And uh, you guys ain't gonna believe me when I tell you this. 31 pounds as it sits right now. Really, all I got to go is my uh, pipe, my turbine, and uh, my batteries. That's the main weight things. My fuel tanks ain't gonna weigh that much. And my ballast, I'm gonna have to put in the nose. I'm guessing about four pounds still. And I think we're still going to come out under 45 pounds. I'm thinking 33, 30, or 43, 44 pounds unfueled. So we're cooking, man. That's right in my target weight. And I was shooting for it at the beginning. I can't believe it's happening, but it is. Bam. I think it's cool. Really like it with the gear doors on it. I'll get them other side. When I pull that wing off, I'll get them paint rods and flat pins that won't take me that long. And put that gear door on that won't take me that long. I'll try and get all that done tonight. And then, uh, man, it's all downhill from here, people. It won't be long. We're going to have her in the paint shop. <laughs> Y'all know what the paint shop is, don't you? That's where I clean up all my epoxy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but basically all I gotta do is slick this bad boy up before I had to patch in a little primer and stuff and uh, it's ready to mold. I'm gonna start out with some wore out 600. You see we're not trying to make it flat. It's already flat. We just we gotta make it shine, man. We're gonna wax it. I'm gonna put like three or four coats of wax on it. Wax. Wax her up, man. And I'm just, you know, I got my uh, uh, surface coat. Never did make it in. They reordered it. They got a ship it from them people and still ain't got it. I guess we've got to wait for them to make it or something. I don't know. But I'm just going back to that white 2103. i got a couple of quarts to make this mold here go quick and easy. Just for a little mold. It's going to be a four-part mold. Top, two sides, and the bottom. And that resin, man, it take me a week. Mold. 
up quick and easy, man. Then I got to put my ducks in. This is going to be an exciting week, people. We're going to be busting it in the shop. We're going to be putting in some late hours. We're going to Phoenix next week. Might not have it ready to fly, but we're still going to go. It will be close. But you cannot test fly a jet at a jet meet. Now someone brought that up. No, if it ain't test flown by then, we ain't going to. One thing I do not want to do is get in a hurry and rush it at the end and do something wrong. And so we're not going to rush it too much, you know. That's when mistakes happen. Hey, Rob and Ralph, man. Need you to come by. I need that. <laughs> I know you're still watching. You made a comment. <laughs> I need you to come by, man, as soon as this weather clears up a little bit. I need that virus protection. my computer guy. <laughs> and just as the name implies, he's as rotten as they come. <laughs> just as my dad. He's my dad's buddy, actually. <laughs> Well, yeah, we had Hayesville's fire last night. That's the most exciting thing happened in Hayesville in a long time. It wasn't that much drama. That was just a little excitement. They did save the donut shop, though. <laughs> I think that one cop was ready to throw himself in front of that fire and save that donut shop. That was a nine alarm fire here in Hayesville. <laughs> fire close to the donut shop. Oh no. Oh, right there. 